I think if more people knew about it, they'd, they'd probably be interested in, in doing it. And I know uh, sometime in the future, I might actually like to come and be involved with the training. Third year lineman apprentice Robbie Ferguson is talking about the profitable work that Chinbro is pursuing in the field of transmission and distribution, particularly when it comes to the highly trained position of journeyman lineman. Currently, Chinbro has more than 30 team members training to be linemen. Chinbro leaders believe these types of skills, including working on live energized lines, will be in great demand for the next few decades. Well, we've got six of our level three apprentices and they are working on a simulated transmission line. Um, it's not actually hooked to anything right now, but they are learning live line techniques. They're using hot sticks and they're doing the type of work that is actually done on a hot line that could be 115,000 volts, 345,000 volts, and so on. Uh, lines that can't be taken out of service to do the work. This is really becoming the bread and butter of our T&D group. We build transmission lines. Right now we actually have contracts where we're working on live lines. We're actually subbing out the live line work. One of the reasons being is uh, we, we need the people, we need to develop the people and to have enough people to do all these different types of jobs. For the next 20 to 30 years, it's gonna be huge. I mean, there's billions of dollars being spent all around the country. But a lot of states like Maine have to upgrade their entire grid. So uh, a lot, there's gonna be a lot of work in Maine, a lot of work in Pennsylvania. Florida needs hundreds and hundreds of miles. So yeah, for the next foreseeable future, there's gonna be a lot of work in it. Transmission is really the niche that Chimbro fits into, but distribution is supporting role and, it's, and we're often called by the power companies to help them out during storm duty. So it's important that our guys get some of those skills as well. So what does it take to become a trained lineman with skills that can be used to earn a good living anywhere in the world? Chinbro's training program requires years of commitment, and even after graduating from the training program, linemen must continue to hone their skills until the day they retire. Journeyman lineman is actually a person that has to take responsibility not only for themselves, but really for the whole crew that is working under them in a situation like this where we may have high voltage. So to develop those skills, it takes four or five years minimal, and then those skills continue to develop through their career. So our program is it's a formal program that covers three years of the NCCR curriculum. We bring them into the yard for three weeks a year. We pay them to learn and then they go out and work on crews, three one-week sessions. And then after that they have to meet many competencies which means we have to rotate them, we have to expose them to different kinds of work. But to be a, a journeyman lineman for these guys, uh, they're talking about four to five years just training to the point where we call them a lineman and then they have to continue to develop constantly. And the emphasis on everything, I mean, whether you're sitting in a classroom or up on a pole or energized or de-energized, is on safety. Safety is the first part of every lesson. Every time you learn something new, what are the hazards associated with it? How can you mitigate those hazards? So I would say they've gone above and beyond Bruce Chesley is our lead training coordinator and trainer, highly skilled and also used as a supervisor, called upon for many of the challenging jobs. He definitely helps out in the field, but this is his primary thrust right now, and he has worked all aspect of transmission and distribution. He shares those skills with these guys. We also have people that are actually functioning at a foreman level. Maybe they're civil, uh, that's their strength, or equipment operators. They've gotten into our program, so they're apprentices while they're already running crews. Chinbro is looking to recruit linemen apprentices. It's an education that Chinbro will pay apprentices to complete. Well, the first step is we select out of our T&D group, so um, expressing an interest to work in that group, get on to the group. The guys behind me, many of them came out of the civil trades, mechanical trades, got into working, putting up structures and so on and so forth, and said, I want to be a lineman got into our program and are now at the end of that program. First off, it's, it's interesting work. That's what first got me into it. And I fell into it accidentally and then I liked it. And then I got sent back to Bridges and, and other civil work and I missed T&D, so I wanted to come back to T&D. Then the apprenticeship program opened up and I just thought it'd be a great opportunity to get into a steady line of work in a growing field, good potential upward growth 
you know, management positions in the future. When I just turned 50, I can't, I can't be climbing poles the rest of my life, so. so I've been doing it about seven years. Trainers and trainees alike say that the program is not exactly a piece of cake, but once the training is completed, the team member can expect some terrific earning potential for years to come. Well, at least in the Northeast, the uh, linemen rates are very high, and certainly within Chimbro, they are the highest uh, craft that I'm aware of. The beauty of it is, is really they can use these skills uh, in any part of the world. 